Was it fear or was it hatred? Was what fear or hatred? Zaya. You had a one-way ticket to Glasgow in your pocket. Your wife and kids left three days ago. No. I'm gonna ask you again. Was it fear of the Italians? Or hatred of us? That made you unlock the door? Give up my brother. I didn't unlock any door. You don't have a drink. You're gonna need it. Thirty-five, Drumcrease Street, Park in Glasgow. Please, 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 please. We have allegiances with Catholic gangs in that city. Your family are safe only at my discretion. Now, explain to me why you were catching a midnight train to Glasgow. You mean you don't know? I run a factory full of black-leg non-union labour. I live in a street full of men laid off or on strike. Another photograph, Mr. Devlin, and tell me who were the men that contacted no. you. No, you listen to me. <clears throat> I get spat at, windows smashed, petrol on the curtains, but for fear of you, I clock in every fucking morning. And today, two men are shot and burnt on my shift. And you ask me why I'm getting on the midnight train to Glasgow. case to that door. They hang on a hook inside my office. Today I left the office unlocked. Why? Because I forgot. Because I left in a hurry. Because there were men trying to set fire to the factory. Mr. Shelby, may I tell you something? You have a lot of enemies. Communists. Italians. Before the factory came out on strike, I heard word that two Italians attended a Communist Party meeting in Stetchford. They hardly spoke English. Now, if they got a party man into the factory, it might have been him that unlocked the door for them. Mr. Shelby, my train leaves at 12. It's just gone 11. I could still make it. Please, for my kids. I need you here. Zaya, get three of our men with police badges to watch Mr. Devlin's house. Mr. Shelby, please. Our friends in Glasgow will take care of your family. For the curtains. Before you, I was an ordinary working man. Yeah, and now you're one of us. <laughs> 